Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to Infinite series. This video is related to cognizant technical assessment mail and also students who are completed the aptitude assessment. Those students will receive the technical assessment mail. And uh, in this video, I will explain you how to complete this technical assessment mail. What are the required things you have to do during the technical assessment and uh, which type of cluster you are belong to and also uh, what is the cutoff of the technical assessment mail and uh, I will tell you lastly one PDF related to previous year questions technical assessment mail. So this is very important PDF for all of you and also very important video because students does not know the pattern of the questions and also how to resolve it. I collected these questions from the one of our subscriber he shared the uh, information in telegram group. If anyone not joined in telegram group, please go and join immediately because where we are getting every update and also sharing the videos and giving the latest job opportunities. So please go and join immediately. It will be helpful for everyone. I will tell you how to use the chat GPT to solve the uh, this type of coding questions and uh, latest cutoff of the coding questions. So let's begin our video. So once you completed the aptitude assessment, you will receive the technical assessment mail like this. So in this technical assessment mail, you will receive the five questions. You can see in the mail, they have mentioned that you will get the 120 minutes duration and also you have to install the one software application. So you need to install the software application if you want to uh, give the technical assessment uh, round. So during the technical assessment round, students don't know about the clusters. So I will tell you how to find the cluster. Once you receive this technical assessment mail, you will receive the link related to the technical assessment. Once you click that link, you will direct it to a particular place like this. So which is called as Mercer platform. So in this technical assessment mail, five questions, three sections, 120 minutes. So I will tell you what are the sections which is included in uh, each technical assessment mail. Before that, I will tell you how to know your cluster. So this is uh, related to computer or desktop. This is related to mobile uh, screenshot. So once you open, once you got this type of uh, screen, you will see here, uh, here you can see CL1, CL1 set 25. Here CL1 means cluster 1. If you receive CL2, it is cluster 2. If you receive CL3, it is cluster 3. So this is how the way to find the clusters. So if, if it is helpful, please like this video. I will tell you now coding clusters each how many problems you have to solve. So in coding clusters, there are having five questions totally. So out of five questions, uh, where programming contains two questions. So Python, Java, C Sharp. So all these programming questions having a two questions and also SQL is common for every cluster. So you can get the two questions for each cluster. And the last one is one question from JavaScript, CSS and HTML for only cluster one and also cluster three. For cluster two, you can get the 10 MCQs questions from the cloud based questions and AWS. So 10 MCQ questions are very easy as compared to HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So one of the easiest cluster is cluster 2. So who are from the previous year students uh, related to the cluster 2, those students are easily completed the technical assessment as compared to Java cluster and also especially C sharp cluster, I mean cluster 3. So one of the easiest clusters and also most of the students are got selected from only Java cluster and also C sharp cluster. So now I will tell you cut off related to the coding questions. So you need to solve three to four questions at least from the uh, coding section. So I will tell you there are three ways to solve the three to four questions. First one is Java, I mean programming related question. At least you have to solve the programming related question. At least one question is mandatory. And if you solve the programming question is one, then you must and should complete the two SQL questions compulsory. So if you completed the three questions from the first two, that means programming question and also SQL question. So you just have to complete 50% of the HTML, CSS, JavaScript. 
then there is a i chance of receiving the entire mail so if you did not even did not solving of html css there is a chances i mean 70% chances of receiving the entire mail and another case is if you solve two questions from the programming if you solve sql one question from the sql and also solve the 50% uh, question from the html css javascript so html css javascript is very difficult as compared to uh, bo first both two sections and uh, if you solve this in this pattern so there is a high chance of receiving the uh, interview mail if you did not solve the java question uh, and also solve the two sql questions and also solve the one html css javascript so in this case there is a less chances for receiving the interview mail so at least you should have to solve the one of the question from the programming question and if you solve two questions that is very better thing as compared to there is a high chance of receiving the uh, interview mail and also you should have to solve the sql2 questions if in case you solve the programming question is one so if you solve the programming question one then you need to solve the sql2 questions mandatory so and also if you solve the sql2 questions and also java is one question you need to solve the 50% of the html css javascript and coming to uh, mcqs students will receive the mcq 10 questions from the uh, python cluster those students need to solve the 7 to 10 questions at least from the mcqs so this is related to the cutoff so if you guys have solved the two questions from the java two questions from the sql and also one question from the html css so there is a high chance of receiving the gen c next role and also students some student will complete the uh, like uh, uh, two questions from the java two questions from the sql uh, zero question from the uh, html and css so there is no problem if you did not solve the html css and javascript so highly consider only from the java and sql and uh, try to only complete html and css because these questions are very simple if you understood so javascript is very difficult i will show you the pattern of question how you need to resolve the questions during the assessment so i will show you the pdf here you can see the pdf uh, related to the previous year questions so here you can see this is the html css javascript related question here you can see html css javascript there are having three files you need to modify as per the question so you just have to add the here you can see the statement one you add the attribute data sorting with the values true to all the th elements so you just have to add the elements in order to true the all the table elements so table header so they will automatically give the inbuilt code you just need to modify whatever the data they are asking so and also similarly for uh, css also here you can see css question uh, which is given in the second statement so style the sort indicator class with the left margin 5 pixels and also next one is javascript complete the sort table function to sort the table based on the clicked uh, uh, something clicked column so you can easily complete the both html and also css uh, coming to javascript it is difficult if you complete the html and css that is considered as 50 percent of the problem you solved so like that you have to solve i already said the cutoff now i will tell you about the sql question the sql question is very important most of the students is failed here to solve the sql question so this is very easiest question because it won't take much more time there it is very easiest as compared to other sections so you need to uh, know the some of the basics how to ask this chart gpt some students don't know about how to ask the chart gpt i will tell you how to ask this chart gpt first you have to copy and paste this code to chart gpt after copying and pasting you will see the right side there is a schema this schema is very important you need to uh, share the screenshot of the schema to the chart gpt then only chart gpt understand what are the databases and also table names what are the names which is included in the uh, given problem 
so then it will easily give the solution to you in first question you will receive only one line of code so with this problem will be completed within the one line so in second problem you will receive the large code as compared to first code so i will show you uh, this is second problem uh, for the previous year question so same uh, same type of pattern you will get but only the question will be changed here you can see second problem question and also given second problem answer in the given pdf so i will provide this pdf in the description if you want to access this pdf go and uh, uh, access this pdf through the description so here you can see programming related question you can expect programming related question python is very easiest as compared to java and also c sharp so python is one of the easiest language as compared to java and c sharp so student will easily clear the python those who are related to python cluster who are from the java and c sharp they are they need some practice and also they have to handle the duration of time so time is very less but you need you need to complete the number of questions so this is about the total technical assessment if you want more related questions please comment in comment box i will provide the more questions related to the coding i will provide the link where you have to practice so thanks for watching try to subscribe my channel